My experiences in the marketing program over the last year include real-life application of marketing principles and methodologies to conceptual innovations for the Toronto Children's Autism System, developing a marketing plan for my selected innovations inclusive of customer segmentation, developing a unique selling proposition, pricing and positioning, distribution channels, marketing materials, customer conversion, partnerships, and financial projections creating an online marketing video for my autism innovation using modern presentation tools, and prospecting and securing significant funding from five sources, including the Provincial Ministries of Health, Children and Youth, and Community and Social Services, as well as the Ontario Trillium Foundation and the Cressa Toronto Corporation. For this reflection, I interviewed three specific entrepreneurs and intrapreneurs. Ms. Margaret Spalestra, who leads Autism Ontario, that focuses on advocacy and innovations for autism across Ontario. Ms. Megan Couture, who is responsible for innovations at Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. And Mr. Howard Buck, who has a background in project management and information technology in healthcare. The key skills that I believe are required for entrepreneurs in my area of work include Highly collaborative healthcare environments require a people-centric, bottom-up approach that creates the experience of innovative ideas being enabled and empowered from diverse stakeholders versus being imposed by leaders or outsiders. Being an innovation culture champion that creates the experience of disruptive experimentation as well as formalizes processes to scale innovations. Portfolio management of innovations that facilitates broad perspectives that go across the innovation portfolio, as well as those that go deep into specific innovations within that portfolio. And finally, communicate, 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 using diverse mediums that target key stakeholders both inside and outside of the organization, like staff, clients, partners, funders and the general public. Some critical challenges for entrepreneurs in the nonprofit sector in my area of work include but are not limited to entrepreneurs and nonprofits need to foster innovation across complex, often political and conflicting systems like healthcare, social services and youth systems. While very challenging, this is also where the greatest innovation opportunities often exist. Patients to go deeper on business questions or problems that need to be solved versus rushing to solutions that may be suboptimal. The ability to learn from setbacks versus becoming discouraged and demoralized by them. And finally, adaptive leadership that requires the entrepreneur to be comfortable leading or following in different situations depending on the issue or the audience to achieve innovation success. On behalf of the 8,000 individuals, families, and caregivers that my innovations are currently targeting, I thank you for the opportunity to apply my learnings to the supports that we provide them at Siri Place Centre.